let's get into it. What is affiliate marketing? So guys, affiliate marketing is simply promoting other companies' products. When someone buys through your affiliate link, okay, which is just a little link, right? We'll talk about all that. You get paid a commission. That's it, okay? This has been going on uh, for years and years and years. This business is growing by the billions every year because more companies are seeing the power and having affiliates promote products for them. Why? Because it's a heck of a lot cheaper to give us a percentage for a product than to pay good old Zuckerberg at Facebook to run ads for them right or google or wherever so more companies are are putting out affiliate programs so more products are coming to the marketplace which means more opportunities and money for us okay as affiliates so it's very very cool um and if i haven't said it it's free to be an affiliate right um so very very cool stuff okay now with affiliate marketing um what's great about this business model guys and why it's such a great side hustle um, is that it's free to be an affiliate, okay? You don't have to pay to promote other people's products. You sign up, you get your link, um, okay? And there's every marketplace under the sun you can think of. Walmart, Target, Amazon, Home Depot, you name it. I'm also gonna share with you guys um, where you can find digital products and where you can find uh, training products, right? Things that you can promote that pay a little bit more money than say physical products, so don't worry about that. Uh, also, what I love about this, guys, is it works in every single niche, okay? You can do this literally in anything. People are making money doing this with the craziest, craziest things. Uh, you have unlimited products to promote, okay? There is, there's endless products. We will find a product for you to promote. No customer service, no selling, no investing, and storing in products. I've said it a million times, but that is the main reason I do this because I don't want to deal with any of the BS, guys. I want to have a business that's working for me 24 seven. And that's, what's great about this model. Okay. So this is how affiliate marketing works. Really you guys, it's, it's, it is this simple. Okay. Um, is you join a program, right? An affiliate program, whether that's through the, the company directly, right? Or you go to like an affiliate marketplace. Okay. Which we'll talk about and then you promote the product. So you choose where you want to promote it. Okay. You can promote on YouTube. You can promote with a blog. If you're somebody who's good at writing, you can promote on Instagram. You can promote on Twitter. You can promote on TikTok, Facebook, anywhere, right? Okay. And I teach free traffic methods. So I'm going to show you guys how I built my business for free. Okay. I don't pay for ads. Okay. That's, that's, that's pretty insane. All right. And then you track your sales. All affiliate marketplaces um, have back end dashboards, right? So you can see where your links are coming from, um, where you're making money, where you're not making money, right? So it's, it's, they do, a, uh, affiliate programs have great support for affiliates. So it's really cool. And then you earn commissions. That's how you earn commission. Join a program, right? Or pick a product as you, if you want to look at it that way, promote that product, right? With your link, your affiliate link and get paid a commission, right? Now, let's talk about evergreen niches. Okay. So evergreen niches, what that is, is these are the three niches that will never, ever, ever go out of style, right? Which means people are making money in all three of these niches and they'll never stop making money. That's a good thing. Now keep in mind, guys, competition is a good thing. Okay. However, that being said, we need to learn how to kind of niche ourselves down a little bit. And I'm gonna talk about that here in a quick second. So you have health, wealth, and relationships. These are the three main markets, okay, um, that um, are always making money and will always make money. People always wanna make money, people always wanna lose weight, people always wanna, um, people always have relationship problems or they'll wanna meet somebody, okay? And obviously within each of these things, health, wealth, and relationships, there's millions of other sub niches. Does that make sense? So in health, you have weight loss, you have yoga, different sports, protein powders, vegan diets, keto, paleo, uh, how to use kettlebells. I mean, um, you also have, um, you know, maybe mental health in there and things like that. Uh, so health is a huge, broad niche. Wealth, it could be about flipping houses and real estate. It could be simply how to make more money. It could be about how to get out of debt. It could be out. It could be about how to invest your money, right? How to how to um, improve your credit, right? All different types of things, right? Relationships, right? Um, how to find a guy, how to find a girl, um, how to break up with a girl, how to break up with a guy, right? There's even programs out there that show you how to break up with a guy over text message. Swear to God, it's very hot niche. People are selling products about, here's how to text your guy or girl and break up with them over text. So, Get, if your wheels aren't churning now, right, they will be soon. So I'm going to give you guys a quick example of how I would niche down 
and separate myself, okay, uh, and say something like the, the health market, okay, because you just can't go in and say, I promote weight loss products. You'll There's too much competition. But if I were to go in to say the health market, okay, and I'm not in the health market, um, I'm in the wealth market, but if I went into the health market and I wanted to kind of niche myself down and find products to promote as an affiliate, um, I would look at myself and go, okay, I'm 48 years old, I'm a dad, um, let's just say I lost weight doing the keto diet, okay? So I might niche down and say, I help dads, right? So now I've already niched down once, over 40, now I've niched down twice, lose weight, now I've niched down three times with the keto diet. So I've niched down four different times. So I've taken myself out of this huge competitive market and niched down, right? Because you want to be laser focused on who you are targeting. That's how you are going to succeed. You can't be everything to everybody, okay? So start thinking about that. It's not rocket science, right? Think about how you can niche down. Maybe, and if you take the female version, right? Maybe it's single mothers or maybe it's just women, right? Maybe it's recent college grads. Uh, maybe in the wealth area, it's like you show people how to improve their credit in 90 days. You show uh, teenagers how to um, make money online um, after school or you see what I mean? Like there's all different types of things. It doesn't have to necessarily be the age and sex that creates your niche. There's other ways to do it. But what you want to do is you want to get yourself out of what's called a red ocean, which means it's super competitive with sharks swimming everywhere. Everyone's competing. And you want to create what's called a blue ocean where you're the only shark swimming, right? Okay. So choosing your niche. So some of this may sound pretty silly to some of you guys. You might be like, ah, okay. But trust me, I did this, guys, and it, it changed everything for me. And I'll tell you a story here in a second. But... The first one is, guys, and I want you, if you need to, take a screenshot of this, do whatever you need to do. Um, also, guys, hopefully you're watching this on a desktop. I wouldn't recommend doing these trainings on a mobile. Uh, if you can, wait till you get home, do it on a desktop. Take a screenshot of this and go through this, okay? But the first one is, so this may sound simple, but start asking friends and family. Now, let me tell you a story. When I was doing this five years ago, um, I, I'm kind of a computer geek, right? So I had a bunch of computer programs that I loved to work on. They were business programs because um, I was trying to start some businesses that failed miserably. And I literally, my wife was in the kitchen here. Okay, I work basically from my kitchen. My wife was in the kitchen over here. I was sitting on this couch that's over here. And I said to my wife, I said, sweetheart, I go, what am I good at? What do you think I'm good at? She's like, you're a great dad. And I said... No, seriously, what, what am I good at? She goes, well, you're really good at that computer stuff and you really like teaching people how to use these software programs and you love talking about all this geeky marketing stuff. And I'm like, huh, like I just, I didn't really think about it, right? But it was right smack dab in the middle of my face. So I started to slowly niche myself towards helping people build businesses using um, various tools that I use, like landing page software, email automation software, webinar software, uh, talking about how to use just different programs to grow their business. Ta-da! And I was, I just assumed, oh, well, this is just software I use. But it's a skill set, right? It's a problem that people needed solved, right? People are running towards uh, pleasure or running away from pain, right? If you can solve a problem, you can make money online, guys. You can write that down. That was a little bonus for you. So next one, most of, um, most of us want or have a hobby or skill that is unrelated to our jobs, guys. So what's yours? Think about it, okay? I had a gentleman uh, on a live call with me the other night. He's an IT manager and he wants to start doing affiliate marketing on the side. I said to him, what do you like to do outside of work? He goes, I don't know. And I'm like, come on, man, there's got to be something. Like, what do you do when you go home? He goes, well, when I go home, I go to my workshop and I make homemade furniture out of reclaimed wood. I'm like, dude, that is your niche, right? That is huge. That is awesome. He didn't think about it because to him, it's so simple, right? Like, he's just like, it's just what I do. It's my hobby. It's my thing. But I explained to him, do you know how many people want to learn how to do what you do? Do you know how many people would pay you for that? So, Right there was his niche. And then he has so many products he can promote as an affiliate, right? All the tools he uses, like woodworking plans, woodworking training. And it, and even the best part is, in the future, he could promote his own woodworking training or his own woodworking products or whatever. So it doesn't even have to be your, you know, 
it doesn't have to be other people's products. In the future, you could sell your own products. Okay? So a business within a business. Now, what skill sets have helped you thrive in work, education, or if you've done any volunteer? Think about it, right? Like, um, for example, somebody who's an accountant, right? They might be like, I use Excel all day long. What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is lots of people, me included, we want to learn how to use Excel because we want to do our own taxes. That is a skill. That is a, that is a problem that people need solved. He can promote products or she can promote products um, based on um, you know how to how to do taxes or even just flat out Excel spreadsheet programs and sell and he could then link to uh, he or she could then link to affiliate products teaching people how to use Excel okay so start getting the wheels churning same thing with education what are some skill sets from school or maybe your volunteer experiences that can solve a problem or take people away from pain or towards pleasure um, what skills make you feel empowered right what makes you feel good like what makes you feel good about it right and again, these are things that you might not think of, right? I love to cook. Um, I don't really want to create, I, I, it's more like my thing on the side. But if I really wanted to, I could probably start an affiliate program about it. But it makes me feel good when I make a meal and I present it and I put it out for everybody and they're like, oh my God, this is so great, how'd you do it? I could, I could always start aside another business on just cooking and presentation and stuff like that. That makes me feel good, right? That makes me feel powerful that people are like so, so happy with the presentation and this and that okay um also what comes naturally to you right so even you know kind of like the empowered cooking comes very naturally to me right i can cook any recipe i can do anything it is very natural for me i can do it think about what comes natural to you again this is something you may not think is worthy of a skill or a product or a business but trust me it is um, also, what do people come to you for, right? This is kind of like the first two we talked about. But think about outside of your daily routine, your daily job, or whatever it is you do, what do people come to you for, right? Do they come to you and say, hey, can you show me how, how you um, how you grow those awesome vegetables in the garden? You have the most beautiful garden. Um, you're so good at this. You understand it. Show me how, can you just teach me how you do that? Like, how do you grow those big ass tomatoes? Or maybe it's somebody who says, you've lost so much weight. Like, what are you doing? Can you show me how to do it? And you might be like, I don't know. I just, you know, I'm, I practice yoga and uh, I do this thing called keto. And well, there you go, right? That's a business. Um, so start thinking about that, okay? Um, what groups are you in? Are you in any Facebook groups or what is it, core groups or wherever? I don't think there's forums anymore. I don't know. But most people are in Facebook groups, right? I'm in tons of affiliate groups, right? I'm always talking with people learning new things. So think about what groups you're in right now. Um, maybe there's something there that, that, you, that you could uncover that could potentially be a business and find products to promote. So lastly, keep an open mind, guys. There is a business up here I promise you, okay? And we're gonna show you how to uncover it and how to make money with it, okay? So lastly, guys, affiliate marketing is side hustle work, but, but with full-time pay, guys, okay? You can make really good money with this. It is up to you to do the work, right? It is up to you to take what you learn and actually apply it. Okay.